Shiel Chatouillet was really a crappy American clown. I just think the French had an appreciation for his certain brand of badness. He was not prepared to suffer. Comedy comes from pain. He wanted to be a juggler. He was a crappy juggler. And um, the family, being a circus family, said, nope, you're not going to be a juggler, you're going to be a clown. Ashiel was a terrible clown and couldn't get any work. And one summer he stowed away and went to France and uh, came back impersonating a French clown, uh, Ashiel Chatouillet. Achille and I crossed paths the way sometimes single men do late at night, except this was really in a performance. And this performance, I don't know, was it Bulgaria? Was it uh, Lisboa, Cascais? He was in the Great London Circus with the Bolokov brothers, which was a juggling act. I suspect Achille was maybe, you know, a featured something there when I was a featured nothing. He, he was pretty famous, though, when he came back as Achille Chatouillet. It's when he left and finally began to go through this great transmogrification that one could realize what, what beauty was underneath. Achille Chatouillet finally passed away of chronic nephritis in Illinois. I think this attack upon a shield's memory is uh, disgustado. No, no less a thing than the Los Angeles Times uh, had some writer uh, uh, express the, the possibility that a shield wasn't even real. There would be people who did history checks in France for a shield chatouillet, and oh, well, there's no sign of it. Well, of course not, because you made it up, you know, you idiot. Clown was leased from a gypsy circus family who own about three or four hundred acres up uh, by Yosemite. He has a mausoleum that he rests in when he's not out on tour. All the little presents that you see on top of the casket are uh, things that people brought because part of it was you had to bring a present for the dead clown. And he's buried in a Shriner's hat and a Shriner's parade outfit from the turn of the century. They told me that he was embalmed with mercury and arsenic. That's why he's so well preserved. I mean, this is 1912, you know. When I first heard it over the phone, I was thinking this, you know, skull with, you know, just nothing left, you know, but he's quite, quite well preserved. People say, uh, oh, that's fake. And I go, well, my first question to them 
um, having been a former mortician, I go, well, how many real dead bodies have you ever seen? Achille Chatier is my great, great, great uncle, my father's father's brother. Uh, he's been on my family's property up north for as long as they've been there, which is like 80 years now. Christmas is when we'd have all the kids together, take someone out there who uh, wasn't familiar with the clown and lock them in there and just, you know, watch them freak out. He always wanted an audience. And so, you know, he knew he was gonna be put in a, in a casket like that. He shared with the rest of us that desire for immortality. Because that was his dying wish, uh, at least what it says in his, his will, you know, that he would always be entertaining people, always on display for forever. If he's looking down from clown heaven, he's, he's laughing. Thank you. 